watch, listen, learn, get a cup of tea. I hate that when I watch somebody's videos and they tell me to get a cup of tea because I'll be like comfy on the couch and I won't have a cup of tea and then I want a cup of tea. Go on, go. Hey guys, how are you going? I am so happy and excited to be sitting here again. I know it has been about two weeks since I last uploaded, but please bear with me. My legend of a best friend is lending me her camera and obviously, if she needs to use it, she can use it, it's hers. But also I was super busy the last two weeks. I had a wedding and everything, so I had no time to film. But welcome back, hello, thank you for joining me again. My name's Olivia if you're new here and if you like what you see, subscribe because I'll be uploading more often. Um, but yeah, if you have any suggestions or videos you would like me to do, please leave it in the uh, comments below. Give us a subscribe. Okay, I was just, I'm trying my hardest here. Like the video if you liked it, obviously. If you disliked it, I'm sure you'll let me know. Um, but yeah, if I didn't say already, I'm Olivia. If you like the look on my face, please stay tuned because it's what I'm going to be doing today. Thank you very much. Okay, so I've already like prepped and primed my face, which I did in my first video, which is my everyday makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how I do that, just go over there and watch that. But today I'm just going to start off a little bit differently because like I said, it's a full bleach. Oh, it's not a full bleach London look, but it's majority bleach London. And they've got some really cool products that I want to put on my skin to show you guys first. But first off, I'm just going to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I'm just gonna go in with that to give me some hydration. <sighs> Feeling nice and calm now with that lavender. <sighs> Excellent. Okay, so the first two products I'm gonna show you guys from uh, Bleach London is their Galixa, Gal Ixa. And I think that's like the girl and Elixa, like Galixa. Anyway, um, and their Illuminati. So this is a liquid highlighter and it's a lot like the iconic London Illuminator drops and this Galixa is an oil and you can use it um, on your body, on your hair, on your face, anywhere. So what I'm going to do is mix these two together because I'm probably going to use this on my face like after foundation but I really like a glow underneath my um, bases and things. Oh, there's already like a bit of like... I'm just gonna go ahead and do what they are uh, do on Instagram and you know do, do the tears with the Vasali oils. Mm, the more I like, the more I put it on my face, the more it has like a certain scent to it, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, what I'll do with all of the products I use today, I will leave them linked in the description box below. For any Australians watching this, um, we can get uh, Bleach London in Australia. Uh, Bleach London themselves um, ship to Australia, like their website ships to Australia. And it is also sold on Cult Beauty, which also ships to Australia. I'm just going to go in with the Illuminati liquid highlight. Ooh, this is quite thick. Oh, oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, I don't really think that's too hygienic, but you know, we'll roll with it. Um, but yeah, for those of you who don't know, Bleach London are a hair salon in London. <laughs> um, and I actually got my hair bleached there when I used to live in London. Um, I used to have platinum blonde hair, not that it's natural, this is my natural colour, and I got it done there in one sitting. It was about four hours and I went from this colour to platinum blonde. A, job, a girl called Beth did it and I went to the salon in, on, on Berwick Street, which is in Soho, which is in central London. They also have um, a salon in Dalston, which is east, and they've just opened up their Brixton um, salon which is also East. I'm like 99% sure. I think I saw that on the Instagram stories like yesterday, but it looks amazing. And you can get their makeup at all of their salons as well. So I'm just gonna go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It's my favorite concealer ever. And just go all over the eyelids.
I might just put another little coat. I'm just going to go up with, go in with the Rimmel uh, Wake Me Up Concealer. I just bought this the other day and I used to use this all the time. Like this was my go-to concealer and the foundation to go with this concealer was my absolute go-to um, from like 2013 to 2015, like a really good solid two years. Um, and then I was introduced to high-end foundations. But to set that concealer, I'm just going in with the Kat Von D uh, Lock It Translucent Powder. And I'm just gonna be super light-handed despite the puff of smoke I just created. Bleach London is a fully vegan and cruelty-free brand. Um, that's everything from the products, like the eyeshadows and the liquid products that they use and the highlighters that they've got to their packaging. So this is all recycled packaging, um, like this palette, like this plastic, it's like cardboard, cardboard on the back. Um, and that's, this is all totally recyclable packaging, which I really love. And because so many brands are doing that at the moment and so many high end brands and much love brands are doing that at the moment. Um, I think they did the right thing. First of all, I'm going to go in with the louder powder BP 2 MA. Um, and this is just going to be our transition colour. So I'm just going in window wiper motions just right in my crease just to give it a bit of depth. I know it's a lighter colour, but just for the moment I just want to place it and then blend. I'm using a Real Techniques uh, crease brush and this is just their bold metals collection. Bring that right into the corner of the eye. I'm just going in with a uh, Models Prefer Professional. These are available at Priceline in Australia and it's an MPP120 crease. So fluffy and I've had two of these for so long. Oh, these shadows are so good. Just going back and forth like a window wiper. I cannot get over the pigment of this shadow. I am so hoping the camera picks this up because I am living for it. Oh my god, I'm going there. We're gonna move on. We're moving on. Moving on, moving on, moving on, oh, down to break. Powder powder BP4 MA, which is just like a deeper pink. It's like this one, which we've just put in the crease, which is super neon, which, oh my God, I'm living for it. Hello. Grab a Real Techniques Dome Crease Brush. So yeah, we're just going to take that darker shade, place it on the outside. No blending, just placement. And the inside of the eye. For those of you that love a good inner corner highlight, don't worry, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's a, it's a video that caters for everybody. But yeah, just keep going back. And building that up on the outer and the inner corner. If you feel like you've lost your transition shade at some point, just go back in with your fluff, fluffy brush and go over it again. But it's totally up to you. Sometimes people prefer losing their transition shades. Um, I don't think I want to in this video just because I love the colour. But a transition shade is there to make it not awkward. I like to think that he's a little icebreaker of the of, of the of the shadow pack. You know what I mean? So yeah, we're just going in there and in there and then blending. Going back in with my Models Prefer um, crease brush. This is, a, this is a new one. No, it's not. This is a new one. And I'm just going to blend that darker colour that we put in, in with the transition. I'm going in to the other eye. We're gonna move on. 
We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Moving on. Ooh, down to break. Nothing. Um, louder powder RSH on this dense um, lid brush and just go where we've kind of left the blank space between the two um, two first colors that we put on and don't worry as you can see this space is like they're both quite different it's fine we're gonna blend it all together they're gonna marry up oh oh they're cute oh I like that oh they're cute do you really like it? Is it, is it wicked? I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it all like that. Brilliant. And I'm just packing on. I'm not blending, packing where I want it. So as you can see, I've kind of lost uh, my darker shadow on this outside eye and the light shadow has just gone too far out. Not to worry though. You take the dark shadow brush we put it back on like I said guys less is more it's easy to build up glitterati color in rosé ay 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 I'm just gonna get it on my finger oh look at that look at that opaque pigment that's what I'm here for oh no my eyelid And we're just patting it on. Oh my. Mm, love it. Then I'm just gonna go back in with the Real Techniques uh, Bold Metals Crease Brush and go in with our transition shade that we very, very first used. Sorry guys, <laughs> my battery died. So um, all I did was add a little bit more of the transition shade and a little bit more, a little bit more of the dark powders. Just being quite careful. I am gonna say I wouldn't recommend using lash glue for this, but it's all I had to work with today. And I'm, I'm sorry, I keep looking down the mirror because I really kind of love the payoff. It's kind of fun and cool. I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. This is just the Masterpiece Max from Max Factor. I love it, it's a super um, thin wand and it's a rubber wand as well. So it really gets in with the little lashes at the bottom and just kind of combs your lashes up. I'm not gonna go ahead and curl my lashes simply because I'm gonna put on lashes, lashes, fake lashes that is. Uh, and my lashes are already pretty, pretty um, long. Lost, lost me words there. So the lashes that I'm using today are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're gross. I've already used them once before, but that's fine. Um, I'm not going to talk while I do this just because I'm very new to putting lashes on myself. I will obviously keep the footage in and hope for the best that you can see what I'm doing. But a tool that has helped me is this Models Prefer Lash. Um, lash tweezers. Um, I know people like Tarte do them. Okay, so that is them both on. If they're not perfect, don't laugh at me or laugh at me. Maybe it'll just make us both feel better. I just got the lash glue on my paint. So I am using Estee Lauder Double Wear. My color is RW2. No, it's not. There's no R in there. It's 2W2 uh, called Rattan. Swear by. We're going to go in with the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind eye. and we are just going to go under the eyes, 
highlight where highlighting is necessary. Down the bridge of the nose, cupid bow, the what's this called? Chin. This in my last video, if you watched it, which you should have, if you haven't, please go watch it. Um, I've decided that I now normally I leave my concealer to sink in, and then I and while I do that, I do my brows. Um, I don't like leaving my concealer to sink in on my cupid's bow, my chin, my nose, or my forehead. So I'm just gonna go. I've just gone ahead and blended that in, and I'm just gonna leave my under eye concealer just while I do my brows. And going in to do my brows, a little spoolie, give them a little brush, get it in there. I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow Pomade in Soft Brown, which is amazing. Up until like a month ago, I wasn't using a pomade, now I love it. So just grabbing a little bit of that on the angled brush and I've lost, I, sorry, I've watched a million tutorials, a million people do brows, and the best way that I learn is just by doing it myself. Sorry, I just keep on looking, the lashes in the mirror. Um, it's just myself. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it, um, but just to quickly talk you through it before I don't talk because I'm concentrating, um, just a line just under the top of the brow and just above the bottom of the brow, and then fill in but you can watch as I do it. And be really light-handed with it. Again, less is more. Wiggle it about, because again, you don't want to be too heavy-handed. And have a blot brow. Maybe you do. If that's your look, that's your look. You rock it. But it's not my look. I don't look good with it. So once I finish off my brows with the pomade, I like to go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. Um, this is like Gimme Brow. But look at the size of that wand. It is tiny. I love it. It's so good. Last time I checked, Charlotte Tilbury didn't um, do like a, didn't do a clear one of this, but I'm really hoping it's something that she comes out with or does because it's really good and it keeps my brows in place. So if she did a clear one, that, that would be fantastic. For the time being, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, I use the Anastasia Beverly Hill Clip clear brow gel. I don't need to talk about that. You guys know how good it is. And oh, I just, I just, I just love the sound. I love the texture of the brush. Do you know the sound, what the sound says to me? It says the brows are staying in place all day. The brows are done. Fabulous. I'm so not used to wearing lashes and it's so funny. Okay, so now that we've done the brows and everything, we're just gonna go in and blend out our concealer. Um, I learned this trick off of Holly Boone. Um, she leaves her concealer for a little while and it just makes it that little bit more um, like opaque, I guess. Uh, gives you a little bit more coverage and it's good because say you're in a little bit of a pickle and you don't have like a full coverage concealer and you need one. It's a great tip. And I barely need a blend, although I have a feeling that's because of, uh, this is a, I'm using like a deeper, a darker shade of concealer. I'm using medium in the Adri one, where normally I use light, so I obviously have to blend it out a little bit more. Slightly controversial. I'm not gonna bake, I don't wanna bake, and I'm gonna tell you why, because I'm gonna give it a go. Um, I just got this setting brush from Real Techniques. It's, it's nothing new, like it's, it's in stores all the time. Um, but recently I haven't been baking my under eyes and I think I'm liking it more. I think I'm liking a more natural look and I'm pretty lucky, like I've already got wrinkles under my eyes so I don't need to worry about my concealer creasing because if it creases, it just creases into my creases that are already there. 
Like, until I get fillers, it's gonna crease. Do you know what I'm saying? So just gonna tap it on like that, just with a nice little brush. Because I'm, I've said this before, but because I do have a, uh, Um, but because I already have quite dry skin, I don't feel the need to set anywhere. Like, I use powders mostly anyway for, like, my bronzer and my highlighter and stuff like that. Uh, so I never like to... The occasion I'll do my forehead if it's looking extra shiny, but it's not looking shiny today. So, despite using an oil before. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually feeling super dry today. Once we have done all that, set everything, I just like to go in and see with my like eyes that everything's blended out. I can see that there's just a little bit of like a mishap going on here. It's not blended, it's not a smooth edge. I'm not happy about it, but that's fine. We're just gonna go ahead and fix it. And like I said, just as long as you use, use this, just as long as you use a light hand, you'll be able to fix anything. And don't worry, I love, um, especially Victoria Beckham, she's known to... Now for the fun part, I'm going to do it now before I forget. Under eye ting. Not under eye ting. Under eye... BP4NA. Taking that on a little pencil brush. And just going under. I... Always <laughs> hate doing this. I'm always like... <clears throat> but I love the outcome of it. I'm just going to get a flat um, little shader brush. This is an Urban Decay shadow brush. This is from the very, very first um, Naked palette. And I'm just going to take that transition shade that we've put on, the one that was slightly neon, the BP2MA. And I'm just going to go a little bit underneath the darker shadow just so we can smoke it down. Okay. So after that, just going on with the same mascara that we used on our lashes earlier. Like I said, it's a, a masterpiece by Max Factor with the really thin one. So it's just really good for getting all of those lashes on the bottom lash line. better with bottom lash mascara we are now going in with the bronzer um bleach london do have like a range of contour and highlight shades um i didn't pick up any of the contour or the bronzer so i'm just going in with my charlotte tilbury face in a palette palette um it is in the color beauty glow and i have been living for the bronzer shade recently it's been my absolute I love this bronzer, oh my god. Um, and one more thing that we're just going to go in before we go in with the final Bleach London, second last Bleach London uh, product, is MAC Lovejoy Mineralized Blon Blonzer Blusher. Maybe it's because it was mineralized. I'm not going to lie, this is the slightly newer, I mean, I just got it open. It's a slightly newer MAC packaging, it's so hard to get open. So I'm just getting, taking a little dab because it's like a subtle bronzy pinky colour. And you just remember what, what Victoria Beckham said and put it on the very apples of the cheeks quite high up. <laughs> Don't you hate that when you go way too OTT with your blusher and you look like a doll? Now I'm going to save our cheekbone highlights to the last because I've just got a product from Bleach that I want to try out. But right now I'm just going to take Illuminati, just pop the tiniest little bit on me nose, on me cupid's bow, on me chin, up here, up here. Just because I do want to be highlighted in these normal places but with the highlighter that I'm going to go in with. Oh, I don't think it's going to suit like nose, nose highlighting. I'm 
got the Legal Lights Blue Lini. Um, and this is this reminds me of um, Kat Von D, the Alchemist highlight palette. It's just like four white highlights. I don't understand. And then it's like obviously this looks white. I don't know if it's picking up the reflective like colors on the camera, but this is like a whole another level. Like I'm using a dense brush for this because I want to see the paint off, not my fan brush. But. I'm so excited to try this. When I swatched this, I nearly cried. I sent it to all of my friends. I was like, look at this. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I didn't put a bit too much on. But can we just? Oh my god. Look at that. I feel like it doesn't really go with this look, but can we just? Who cares, I'll fix it in a minute. Oh my god, this is actually so funny. This is so insane. But I love it. It's a different pink. This is a very cool tone pink to the eye look that I've done. But I mean, that's fine. And uh, oh! <coughs> oh my god, this is... Don't tell me this is going to go downhill. I'm sure we can fix this. It's nice and thick. Hello. I can't even put this anywhere because I don't have any collarbone on show. <laughs> the Illuminati. Comparing it to the iconic London Illuminator drops, which I'm not gonna lie, when I did first see them, I thought that they were like super similar. Not that they they're like a similar product, but it's what I thought of. Um, this is a really different consistency and I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to like it because it was quite thick, but it blends out so well, like so, so, so well. Um, I'm going in with MAC Spirit. It's just a beautiful brown. I don't know if it's a brown or like my kind of shade of nude. I'm so funny. Let me do the lipstick and then I'll talk. I'm so funny about nude shades because no nude suits me, but I've realized as time's gone by, I just need to have darker nudes. Oh. I'm just going in with the NYX Buttergloss, Butter, Butter Gloss in Istanbul. I bought this thinking it was something different. Um, and I can only wear it when I mix it with like browns because it's just way too pink otherwise. <laughs> Ah, oh. hi guys, love that. Hard AF setting spray. Now I absolutely love this. Um, one thing that it that it does have in it, which like caught my eye straight away, is castor oil. Um, I'm just gonna spray it, and you guys will see the glow that it gives me. But it stays in place all day, and I love it. so 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 much for watching if you enjoyed it please bear with me click uh, click subscribe down below give me a thumbs up and if you're enjoying my videos leave a comment and tell me what you want me to film next i'm so open to your ideas but thank you so much for all the love and support that i re received on my last video and which i'm sure to receive on this one thank you and i will see you later Mwah.